At CES 2011, Sony unveiled the 3D head-mounted display, a conceptual prototype that looked like a futuristic Virtual Boy. At the time, Sony said it had no plans to bring it to retail, but now, months later, it's back with a new name, a tweaked design, and a confirmed 2011 release. Sony is now calling the device a personal HD and 3D viewer, or HMZ-T1 if you want to get technical. And while it sports a few new design changes, the core functions are still the same. Inside it has two OLED displays, one for each eye, which can display either 2D or 3D content, including games, TV, and movies. The headset, Sony says, gives users a theater-style experience, providing a 45-degree viewing angle. To complement the visuals, the viewer packs a pair of simulated 5.1 surround sound earphones with four dedicated modes, cinema, game, pure AV, and standard. Each has unique characteristics, but the game mode specifically focuses on creating clear directional audio for competitive shooters. At CES, the viewer was just a visor you held up to your face, but the final version allows you to strap it to your head, freeing your hands. It's lost some of its Tron-style flash, but now it's actually usable. Putting it on is a bit cumbersome, but once you adjust it to fit your head, it works great. Testing it with Gran Turismo 5, I felt totally immersed. In fact, I was almost too immersed. I drove effectively when the race was on, but navigating menus without being able to see the controller was tough at times. Fortunately, there's a small cutaway that allows you to see out of the bottom of the visor, but even then I found myself stumbling. Still, that's the price you pay for total isolation. Speaking of price, consumers will have to pay roughly $800 for the luxury when the viewer hits stores later this year. For more on the personal HD and 3D viewer, including a complete hands-on, head on over to IGN.com.